okay, is this the thing I took a picture of? Yes, okay. So maybe I should have just went up here and then just got rid of those two while it's here. That probably would have been better. Hopefully we don't have to worry about those two since they're probably going to go into hiding. Maybe not. Maybe we do have to deal with them after all. Okay, we're going to wait until he... Probably screwed myself into a corner. Is someone there? Nope. It's just rats. Fuck, I did not count on that. Maybe if I take out the guy over here, but the damn stairs are blocking me. Wait, wait. Oh. 
lot better than I thought. There we go. Just makes me mad. Uh oh. Locate the bridge, photograph the captain's log, photograph the shipping manifest, place tracking beacon and radio room. I think I gotta go back. Yeah, I do. Damn it. to get away. We will find you. Just, just why I think I can do it. Oh, no. <sighs> he surprises me by doing it anyway. And that's where I gotta go. That kind of walk looks familiar. Imagine the captain's log and shipping manifest is all on the bridge, so and usually the radio room is not too far from the uh, bridge. Thanks to my in-depth knowledge of playing Soldier of Fortune 2.
This is probably the Rayo room since it's usually right below the, the bridge. Walk it up. Why not just kill her? Don't tell me my business, laddie. Yes, sir. But I don't see why you don't just kill her. You won't be seeing anything if you don't do as I say right now. Yes, sir. And <sighs> we balls it up again. I'm strong. There are you. <laughs> I demand an explanation. Explanation for why? Heinrich tells me the girl is still alive. Perhaps you did not understand my orders. Your orders? Ha! You don't give me orders. She was to be liquidated. Why did you spare her? I'll not slay a countryman without a fair fight. The girl's just doing her job. She's a threat to our operation. I'm sure the director would agree with me. Then you kill her. Coward. Fatty. Drunk. Fatty. <laughs> you disgust me. What was that? That's an explosion. Find out what's going on. Jawohl, Frau Wagner. Open the ship! Open the ship! Did he say ship or sheep? Sheep, <laughs> I think. Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> Okay, that's not of our doing. We came, only came here to photograph. Well, let's go. What about the cargo? You're welcome to fetch it, fatty. As for me, I'm getting off this boat before she sinks. But the operation? We can replace the cargo. I would have kind if you take my meaning. The director will not be pleased. Uh, stay here and show your devotion. I'll nail up a commemorative black for you in the ladies' room of that wretched nightclub of yours. I can't help it if my beautiful cabaret is infested with big nicks. I've tried to get rid of them, but they're like roaches. Probably because they think you sing like that on purpose. Experimental jazz or some such shite. Get off of this jabbering! Get out of my way! Your hideous mask is blocking the bulkhead! <laughs> the bulkhead's blocked! What do we do? <laughs> Let's go through the Oops. engine room. Well, this lock looks like our cigarette lighter could open it, but unfortunately... Open up. Oh boy. Um. Oh wait, wait. Maybe I can. No. I uh, don't remember this. Fa Never mind. Okay, recover your possessions, plan tracking beacon on radio, get off the ship before it sinks. And of course it's locked. Or blocked, I should say, not locked. Uh Can't go that way. Is 
sadly back in the... Oh, hello! Made it. There we go. Okay, plant tracking beacon on radio. Get off the ship before it sinks, okay? Harm safety tip of the month. Great news. Our studies have shown trapped sailors can survive for four days underwater if an air supply is available. If your ship flounders, simply close all bulkheads and dispatch your comrades to preserve oxygen. The life you save should be your own. Thank you. <laughs> Swim faster before we drown. There we go. Ah, more stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to... I know if we jump on that, this happens. Wait, maybe I can... Well, I guess that can work, but that means I'm gonna have to... Jump back. Come on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. We got the Luger with the silencer this time. Okay, now what? Oh, do I just shoot it? Yep. Okay. Uh oh. It's rising. Shit. Oh shit, oh shit, this isn't good. Okay, what do, what do I do? There's no air pockets. Wait a minute, something's not right. Maybe I forgot to pick something up. Secure hatch in case of flooding. Oh, maybe I was supposed to... Shit. Maybe I was supposed to close that. Ugh. Okay. That actually worked. <laughs> I cannot see a damn thing.
Okay. Yeah, plant tracking device. Well, I want to go in here and read this. Harm recall notice. Be advised that newly installed H2000 waterproof wall safe and harm vessels have been recalled due to faulty K rings. Okay, I don't know how we escaped from the boat, but whatever. Okay, 19 out of 28 items. You are proving to be an inadequate operative, Agent Archer. You have yet to carry off a successful mission. Well, perhaps all is not lost. At least you placed a beacon in the radio room, which will allow you to locate the sunken freighter. It would probably be worthwhile for you to practice diving in a controlled environment before attempting this mission. Fabulous cigars, Carlisle. Absolutely fabulous. Aren't they? A close personal acquaintance of mine is in the import-export business. Gets them direct from Havana. Care for another? Don't mind if I do. After you smoke that one, you really ought to try one of these. Not Cuban, but I challenge you to tell the difference. Shall we turn it into a wager? Jolly good. Smashing. I only wish the commissioner were here to fatten the pot. Here I am. Commissioner, good of you to join us. We're just about to embark on a little bet. Gordon here contends that his non-Cuban cigars will dupe seasoned connoisseurs like us. Rubbish. Here, here. You'll feast upon those words soon enough, old chaps. Frankly, I'd rather smoke them and wash them down with some more of this fine cognac. Isn't it divine? They're smashing. <laughs> What's the matter, Commissioner? You look a mite warm. Pale as cheese. Are you quite all right? I'm not sure. On my way here, a big bald chap with an eye patch poked me in the leg with his umbrella. I've been a bit gassy ever since. I say. What a rude fellow. No wonder you're upset. I hope he apologized. Actually, he said au revoir and handed me a lily. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are going to leave it here for right now, but until then... I will see you later. Um, we failed our second assignment.